All right, so let's do the process from the ground up. I'm going to show it for the state of Delaware, but hopefully it's transferable to other states as well. Um, of course, Walgreens or Dwayne Reed or, or other subsidiaries of Walgreens have to uh, be administering vaccinations in your area. Uh, but I'll go to what I imagine a typical user going to, which is Google COVID vaccines Delaware uh, coronavirus.delaware.gov. Okay, uh, this is a decent site actually. Uh, there's some good info on it. You can see this banner at the top telling me uh, phase 1B and all of that. Um, so I'm going to go to find out where to get vaccinated. And there it says, where can I get my vaccine? I have to scroll down a little bit, uh, but I have these three options. Pharmacies uh, were preferred, at least by a few people I know. So I'm going to click on that. And... Uh, I'm from the Wilmington area originally, so that's where mostly Walgreens are there. So I'm going to click on Walgreens. I checked out some of these others, the the others. They seem to just be getting off the ground. Also, Walgreens has 9,000 stores nationally, so they might have uh, rolled out a website that's usable. Uh, turns out that's not the case, but we can get through it. Um, so then I'm on this page. Now I'm in the Walgreens land. I'm no longer on Delaware.gov, and this is where it starts to get ugly. Um, but I'm going to read through all of this and I was a little frustrated and confused because I didn't see a like big link that said uh, register here. Probably because there's this get started button which is the same color as the footer background. Uh, not much of a call to action there but this is the one I need to click get started. Make sure you read through all that text too as it is important. Uh, if you don't have a Walgreens account, you'll have to register. If you do, you can sign in here. I'm going to hit create account for our users uh, who are not familiar with it. This is where you'll fill in all your info. You'll probably get a confirmation email to prove that it's you. Go through a few other steps and then go back to login. Okay, so I'm going to click sign in. And uh, I'm going to blur this out. Okay, I'm going to show some of my personal info. So parts of the video may be blurred out. Okay, when I go to sign in, uh, I get my dashboard and then I get a pop-up here that says find clinical trials. Um, so this is Walgreens, of course, uh, not updating their site frequently enough. We're not looking for clinical trials, we're looking for vaccinations. Uh, so I'll close this and now I don't know where to go. Uh, I'm logged in, but I don't remember where I was supposed to be. Um, so what I'm actually going to do, because I, I still don't know the answer to that question, is I'm going to go back to COVID Delaware vaccines on Google, and I'm going to go through that whole process again so that I get to that get started uh, button. Okay, so we walked through this at the beginning of the video, and here we are on this page. So take a note of this URL, walgreens.com slash findcare slash vaccination slash COVID-19. This is the button you have to get to when you're logged in. Sorry, this is the site you have to get to when you're logged in and then click get started. And now it will magically take me to this COVID-19 vaccination screening. So you can also uh, look at this URL and just copy that for when you're logged in. Um, there might be an easier way to find it, it just wasn't intuitive, so I figure if I got tripped up on it, some other people might get tripped up on it too. Um, but this is where we want to be, we're filling out this screening, okay? So for the purposes of this demo, I'm going to say that I'm over 65. You can click on this link, which is actually pretty helpful uh, state by state to know if you're eligible. And this will change through the phases, remember. Um, I'm going to fill out this. These are all personal questions. I'll just say no for each one. I'm not going to book a slot here. I'm just going to take you to that point where you can or you can find available slots. All right. So I breeze through that. Sorry, I've done this so many times. I'm going to go back. It's going to tell me vaccination recommended and then I'm going to hit schedule vaccination. Okay. Um, now it's going to ask me personal information. I'm going to have to blur out the screen here and you'll fill in all this information. And then remember to click select your store at appointment location. So I'll click that. Now it's going to ask me for my address, which I'll put in and that'll probably be blurred out too. 
and then it'll show me 30 stores nearby. So I'll hit select this store, the closest one, and that'll show here an appointment location, and then I'll go to continue. Okay, so now it's taking me to this page where I can see my location and I can select date and times. This is where I was just, I had had enough, right? Uh, uh, so what actually this is doing, it's, a, it's just hitting the server for each location and then showing you slots. But if there are no slots available, you get zero feedback. Uh, and you can only book up to February 2nd as of recording. I think it's just a one week uh, span. So you can go through all of these if you want for every date and every time, but that's why this site was built. Um, it's really built for just when you're on this screen. Okay, so I'm going to go to, I'm going to refresh this page here on getmyvaccine.org. That's what, that's the tutorial for this site. Um, we don't see anything. We can see future slots, but we can't yet register for those on uh, Walgreens. Uh, if I were somewhere in, say, San Francisco, uh, which do have available slots right now, I can search here, and this is what you will see when they pop up. So when do they pop up? I've only had this running for a day or so, uh, but they seem to pop up early afternoon, early evening, and they're not available long. Um, so please just don't refresh the page all day and go crazy as well. But hopefully this will be a good sanity check at least, so you're not uh, clicking through this uh, every five minutes or, or just going through all of it and finding nothing. Um, that's really all it is. So after you find, if you find an available slot here, jump over to your Walgreens site, put in that time, if it's still available, should be if you do it quick enough you can book that slot then you hit continue and it's pretty straightforward after that uh, there might be an option to book your second slot uh, for your second dose um, I don't know this isn't like advice but I actually decided to skip that step for fear that my first slot uh, would be taken before I could book that second slot. So book the first slot and then booking the second, uh, by second slot I mean second dose of the vaccine. After the first dose is administered, when I say my slot I'm referring to booking my mom's vaccination appointment. Um, she just had her, vac her first dose yesterday and after that uh, went back to this site and booking the second dose was actually very easy uh, because not as many people have taken it so you can book a month in advance. All right so that's the gist of it. If you have questions um, I guess comment on the video. If you're looking at this at um, getmyvaccine.org you might have to open up this video in YouTube and comment there. Uh, yeah hopefully it helps. All right good luck.